great. The whole nine's here. We've got John calling in. Hey, John. Uh, John, hey John. John, welcome onto the show. Hey, John. Good morning. How you doing? Hey, yes, I have a question. I'm, I'm very good. How about everybody there? Everybody we're, good? We're yeah, doing good. Super. Thanks, John. What's going on? Okay. I have a question about taking money out of my IRA or brokerage account. Okay. Probably my brokerage account. Uh, I took 2000 out last year. Or, I'm sorry, 3000 out of my uh, brokerage account, uh, one account that I bought in 2000. Uh, when the heck did I buy that? Well, twelve thirty oh two, I bought it. Okay, and uh, I took two, three thousand out last year, and it cost me two hundred dollars. Okay, already I've taken four hundred four thousand out, and I need I spend more money than I thought I was going to spend this year. So uh, I need maybe I I want to find out how much I can take out, approximately how much it would cost me, and without going into a higher uh, tax tax account. Sure. Okay, John. Well, let's let's unpack a little bit exactly what you've got. So, uh, first of all, you said you have an IRA and a brokerage account. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So, is the brokerage account an IRA also? No. 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 It's just the uh, money is, I've taken out. Okay. And so I put this fund in the brokerage account. It's not in an IRA. Sure. Okay. So, okay. so any so just so you know, for those listeners out there who aren't familiar with what an IRA is, it's an individual retirement account. There are Roth IRAs and traditional IRAs. I'm assuming this is a traditional IRA. A traditional IRA okay. means you put money in and you get a tax deduction on the with the money on the way in, and anything you remove from that IRA is going to be taxed as ordinary income to you. So, are you you're familiar with that, John? Yes. Okay. okay, great. So, but I'm a little perplexed, John, because you said last year you took money out of your brokerage account and it cost you. So did it cost you in income taxes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So was there a capital gain tax as a result of selling something that had gone up in value? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. <laughs> My uh, tax, uh, where would that be? Well, look, I think I'm just trying to understand the, the nature of what caused your, your taxes, because what I hear you asking is how to manage your tax bill by taking money out of different accounts. And it's nice to have funds in both an IRA and I'll call it a non-IRA. In your case, it's a brokerage account, right? So you, you have the ability to control your income for income tax purposes. Mm -hmm. So you ask Aaron and I the question, I think, how do you um, take money out without going into the next tax bracket? Do you know how much uh, income you're going to have for the year other than what you're taking out, like Social Security or pension or wages? Oh, well, uh, yes, I, I guess I do. Uh, the only uh, I take $18,000 out a year, and the only other income is besides uh, the uh, you know, capital gains and everything would be my Social Security. Sure. How much do you have in Social Security income, John? Uh, this year, well, I, uh, last year, I don't know what it was, but this year is one thousand five ninety-eight fifty. Okay, so about sixteen hundred a month. Is that correct, I John? Yes. Yeah. I guess. Okay. So yeah. I, I think I think part of the key here, John, is, is if you're pulling money out of that brokerage account, and and I th I heard you say that it was invested. So really, the challenge you have is, and, and we don't know the answer to this, is what are you? What is your capital gain within that brokerage account for every time that you have to liquidate something in there in order to generate the cash to pull out to live off of? And so whenever well, you the only time I've taken it out was this year and last year. Sure. So. I've so never touched it before. So, and it sounds like you bought something in there several years ago, 20 some odd, or you said back in 2000. 19 years ago, 2002. 2002. Yeah. So 19 years ago, you made an investment. And just let's just say hypothetically, you put in $100,000 into an investment 19 years ago, and today it's worth $200,000. Okay? So you're going to have a $100,000 capital gain as you start to liquidate those assets off. Um, some, some of it's going to be gain and some of it's going to be return of basis. So you're going to have a capital gain, every, well, depending on how you, um, how you do your taxes. But in general, you're going to have a capital gain every time you liquidate those investments in order to generate cash. So it's really a matter of how much capital gain you have in the investment that you have in, within the brokerage account. Are you married, John? No, I'm not. You're not married, so you're, you're single. So I'm old, too. I'm 84. 84? 
I would never have guessed. God bless you, John. Yeah. Thank you. So you don't sound like 84. You got a very robust voice for an 84 year old. So I like the cruise. That's I guess that's why. Ah, <laughs> there we go. Got you got to have money to cruise. The, the truth comes out. Yeah, we're on to you. Okay. <laughs> so okay. Well, listen. So as an 84 year old single taxpayer, you can have up to about forty thousand in taxable income to still be in the 12 percent bracket. Now, right. what does that mean to you? That means, John, if you're in that bracket or the 10% bracket, you don't pay capital gains tax. Right. Okay? Right. So, in other words, it, you know, with what I'm hearing, your Social Security is about 1600 a month. You said you're pulling eighteen grand out. I don't know if that's from your IRA or a combination of IRA and brokerage, but it sounds like to me you're not paying capital gains tax. So... You know, it, it. I'm not sure what exactly is going on. Something you may want to consider in your brokerage account, depending on the investments that you have in there, would be to uh, possibly not reinvest dividends, just have them pay into cash, and then that can provide part of the distribution that you may need from the uh, from the brokerage account.